Hi, this is Shahwar. In the previous session, as you may have noticed, we made our first use of TK Inter and noticed how and why we can make graphic windows, write labels, and even we learn how to write buttons and run a function with that button. In this session, I want to show you how to copy and paste a file using TK Inter. Of course, we will have a little limited outlook on it, but there is no problem. I just want you to understand how TK Inter works up until now that we have learned you will be able to understand the topics much better later on. I want to write a function that does the writing for me and copies a file in another by clicking on the button that we are going to write. So that's our task that we have on our hand. First, I import TK Inter as TK. I call it a name. Okay, then from TK Inter, import TTK. And also from Sys, import argv and exit. You got to know argv and exit in the previous sessions. Argv was used to give a series of information along with input file in Python to the program. And this input information could be anything, a file name, user password, or anything that you could say as some kind of information. All right. Well, now. Let's see what we can do. We write an if for argv in case the user in the input didn't enter the files, the program will shut down right at the beginning and it won't go on until the media stress. Of course, <coughs> here we want to write the file names as command and line. So as much as you can get to use the buttons task and other stuff that you have learned up until now would do much to help you get on with it. All right. From one on, if argue from one onward existed, file name first equals argue one. Okay. The file that is going to be copied in the next file, the file that is going to be the new file in named file to an argv. Okay, that's it. That's it, right. Good. Now, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I think we can write with open file name as file. Okay, that's it. All right, yeah. File, we open it with read as else. Print, please enter file name at start program and exit. If this file did not enter or were entered incompletely, you can write your if in other ways as well. You can write my argv here. My argv is, len is less than zero. Okay, just like that. There is a zero, which is your file name. There is a one, which is the next one, the file which you are going to copy is information here and the two is the next one so you can write if len argv less than three which includes zero one and two this happens write your else like this okay first i get an instance from tk.tk so that i make my main window all right I write it a little win dot title and I write copy okay file 
I can here write a file name as well, but I rather write it in the label, of course. Just copy it, a few dots would do. All right, I write a main loop and run the program and see how it works. Let's check it out. Win dot main loop, Python prag dot py. I intentionally don't write my file names and run the program. And as you see, it is okay and of course does its job really well. Python prag dot py. My first file is ali.txt, my second file is ali2.txt. As you see, there is not ali2.txt, but as I mentioned before, when you open a file in the right mode in Python, if that file does not exist, it will be made. So Python prag.py ali.txt, ali2.txt, I enter so my program opens and up to here there is no problem you need to always test your program little by little you don't need to write lots of codes and then run into an error you don't know where it is i send this main loop down to the bottom of my program it must always be the last thing that operates and of course it should set on the last line i write it the same label equals ttk dot label I write it for win it has a text the text is copy the first file in the second file dot format the first file name and the second file name Instead of this, it has the first file that I am copying, and instead of this, the second file that is going to be copied. Okay, where should I put my label? A label dot grid column. Okay, zero and is the row. Zero always determines where your labels, keys, and anything you write will be okay all right i'll write a function called copy you need to make sure that if you want to name copy you need to use capital c because there is a copy module already and it may mix it up with that one all right f2 equals the file that is going to receive the copied files the receiver of the copied files open file name 2 and write i open it in the write mode of course w means write mode now here i write the action that i am going to write dot configure what is it going to do it is going to f2 dot write f be done by it that means the information on f be sent to f2 be copied to f2 okay i want to write something for my label a label dot configure the same for ground equals red so that it turns red and then f2 dot close okay now i write my action here action equals ttk dot now i write okay button from ttk the button function gets extracted and i write this is the button that we want to write for win on this button there is a text of course this text says click to copy okay and what is going to happen after clicking the button command equals the copy function is going to happen now i write where is my action going to be grid column one and zero row okay my main loop is also here 
I saved and run the program by here because of this function I run into an error because the configure action can get an attribute or type error it could get this problem in its code of course okay because we need some other gadgets that we haven't taught yet as I said before I intend to keep it as limited as possible so that you understand things up until now and disenchant you with TK Inter so that you get to use it without any fear all right I run the program L is Ali 2 txt dot of txt python prag dot py ali dot txt in ali 2 dot txt we enter all right let me explain this this is the label the copy of ali txt to ali 2 dot txt because we said in label our text is the copy of this in this one which 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 is the dots format of file name and file name 2 and our file names are based on the argv and in the next column and the same row we have defined a button that is for win and has been written with the click text in the copy okay just like that it is this one and if I click okay the program runs and but I run into a type error here this is a problem which is caused by the action configure that we need to use other functions to get rid of but the program does its job well it seems okay if I close this page and get a cat from ali2.txt as you see the information has been copied in it okay so when the program is doing its job we have no problem with this error we can make it alright because the user should not understand here I can write try all of these okay try does this job when it reaches type error accept type error print ok the user doesn't have to see the error and then exit 0 when the program is doing its job we can close the type error ok just like that ok here I erase ali2.txt rm dash rf ali2 dot txt I clean it and then run the program again python prag dot py ali dot txt to ali2 dot txt as you see it gave an error before if I do it again it runs without showing the error there was error which we cleansed if I get a cat from ali2 dot txt the file has been copied, but you can write these in the tkinter window. tkinter is extremely powerful. It is one of the most powerful libraries out there in available on Python. You can write these, which we will in the future. When we talk about a text that we want to write in a window, but you'd better write it on your own as a practice. Okay all right let's clean it let me have a review on the program again go through the steps one by one to make it clear we import a tk inter with tk name from tk inter we import a ttk for making button although ttk does lots of other jobs from sys we imported argv and sys so that we can get the input information from the user just like ali.txt and ali2.txt so that under special circumstances we can exit we use the exit button program like this we got an instance wrote the title we wrote the label so that it keeps the name of the file names in the label and then we run the copy function we escape that error by try and accept and copied the file 
into the destination. First, we open the file in the right mode, and when we copy it with action, don't do it with open. Try to make use, you make your own configuration. I made the F2 and only did the right part in the configure. That is, I only gave this part to action dot configure the final writing. I did not make it open the file and then I change my label of course it is not going to show me the changes because the accept is going to run and the program will close down they can also take care of this then I look took an instant call to action from the button that has been imported from TDK button is being written for a text write this text on the button and run this function and finally where the button is going to be i hope it was useful to you okay